Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you saw by the thumbnail guys, this is going to be an energy check-in. Now in this energy check-in, we will be pulling one oracle card to kind of figure out what energy you're in and then we're going to be clarifying that with Tarot. Not oracles, with Tarot. Um, this is my energy check-in. I have not done it in a while. This energy check-in is um, as a result of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my zodiac signs being affected um, by my absence um, right in the middle of delivering the July, August 2022 Leo season, their confession combo. Um, there was some behind the scenes things that need to be dealt needed to be dealt with. Um, and I just could not deliver that in enough time. So um, I like it's a, blame it on my Capricorn. I have to deliver you something in order to set my new Virgo season. Let's drop it for the Virgos. <laughs> off right. Now, Leo, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, and Sagittarius does not have or will not have a general um, a energy check-in, okay? Um, and it is, of course, general energy. Um, because they had though that combo video, which was the their confessions and what are they telling you for Leo season? Um, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, of course, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini will get an energy check in, and then we will continue with the regularly scheduled programs. You're going to be seeing some changes, guys. I'm not going to bore you with those changes right now. Um, just roll with it. Um, but you are going to be seeing some changes on the channel. That's not what this is about. This is just an intro to say I am sorry to my Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini collective that look forward to my messages. Um, so I am going to be, of course, giving you a general check-in. I like this read, and there is a lot of readings that I have had and done on my channel through the years that... Um, I'm really starting to go back to basics, and um, so you're going to just be seeing some old school returning. <laughs> so um, I did want to set up this reading. So again, we're going in with one oracle. Since it is an energy check-in, we're going to be using the energy oracle. Everything you know always is below of everything that I use. I'm not stingy about where I get my cards from. We don't do that over here. Um, you know... I'm going to also tell you guys that the prediction skills are, um, especially for my clients and off the channel, like outside of YouTube, are so spot on that you're probably going to start, well, you're going to see some changes, I told you, but you're probably going to start to see more videos from me in that style because the skills and, and the skill set and the gifts have just evolved and it's just easier for me. And I'm also starting to even get to the point where I don't even need cards, but I do that because I'm a part of this community. But my clients, um, they know me um, in a different capacity. So it's really um, evolving. So you're going to see some changes. I am cardinal energy. So when I'm all about change. Um, I, I do believe if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I also have to change in order to evolve. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Again, we're going to be taking one energy oracle and then um, I'm going to be telling you, you know, what I'm feeling on that card and um, intuitively what I'm feeling, what I feel like your energy is dealing with, what energy you're in, why you're there, whatever I'm feeling, just riffing off the top, just me, you, the cards, which I like that better <laughs> anyway. Um, and then kind of going in with Tarot and kind of seeing what areas to, you know, more define, um, you know, maybe some of those areas, if there are people involved, places, things, whatever. OK, so I just wanted to tell you that again in this video, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio and Gemini. We will be doing Virgo first because it is their birthday season. And then we will get into our regularly scheduled videos. Um, slightly different. Um, going forward for Virgo season. So I apologize for you guys for not being available on the 22nd. Um, it was a bunch of second house crap going on for me because, of course, um, 
when Leo season hit, it hit me in the second house. Now I'm in the third. <laughs> so communication time. But yes, I predicted a lot of the full moon and Aquarius fallout was going to happen toward the end of the month for um, a lot of you guys um, and a lot of my clients. So when when shit blew up, excuse my language in their life, I had to make some judgment calls and it just took me off the channel. Um, and that happens when you're helping people. And that's what I'm here to do. All right. Enough of that, guys. I will see you in your video. Thank you so much. I will also put the playlist to the uh, the three. What did I do for you guys? I did a, oh, a Virgo season 2022 three card lesson on Marvelous Enlightenment. Um, I didn't, I shared the link on the community tab. I'm going to drop the playlist for you. Go check out what that is, um, guys. Um, and you're going to start to just see, you know, um, videos across my platforms and across my channels a little bit more. I'll see you in your video. Bye guys. All right. Hello, Virgo. We are going to go ahead and start with you. Happy birthday. And I'm going to stop shuffling to give you a, a, a nice applause. All right, this is going to be a very simple energy check-in. We're going to find out what energy you you're, you are in right now. If you're interested in any... Oh, okay. Well, that came right out for you. All right, and you are in the door to spirit. This, is, this card is about your uh, spiritual awakening and new beginnings. That's interesting because... Now that we're in Virgo season, this means that there's a lot of things hitting you in your first house. So new beginnings. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of you guys are being a little bit more spiritually inclined, Virgos. It feels like maybe some of you guys have shunned or uh, wrote off more spirituality in your life for a more practical approach. And although I have Earth in my chart and I understand that sentiment, you're starting to look at things from a more spiritual lens. This is a twofold. You are welcoming in the door to spirit now. Now, in an, in a card of 32, when we look at that 32, okay, if, if I can for a second, I love numbers and the cards. It's been a lot of changes in your life. Three plus two is five. So when we're carrying an energy of, um, of fives, um, there's been a lot of change. And there's been a lot of instability and there's been a lot of conflict. Let me get back to my checklist. Let me check you off. And with those conflicts, there's been maybe some things happening in your life that you can't even explain. There's been um, that's been causing you to look at things a little bit differently. OK, there's been a, a sort of a spiritual awakening for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise and Venus. Um, and you're starting to look at these things. I know a Virgo rising, um, and unfortunately she, um, is a, uh, one of my clients. She is also, well, she's an associate and she's been going through hell and she turns to me and she's like, okay, there has to be some validity to this crap that you're talking about because she's a Leo son and Leo's, um, no offense to the Leo's happen uh to, to just have this mentality where they're like let it happen i don't want to know forget it it is what it is or this very literal approach to spirit whatever you know if it's going to happen then it should happen like this and that fixed mentality where there is no open-mindedness but with you you have the ability of looking at a practical approach and having uh, be a mutable earth and and still having the energy um, of of being open to things, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna say that you were 100, you know, not convinced that things happen and things happen for a reason, Virgo. But I think that there uh, there's been some strategic, not strategic. There's been some instability and some change and some things that has happened that has started to make you look at things in your life differently. So you are welcoming in the door to spirit. And we are going to go ahead and go in with some tarot and try to figure out. So your energy is your spiritual awakening. Um, maybe you're starting to go and get palm read, uh, your palm readings, um, your Reiki healings. Um, you're starting to, let me move this deck. You're starting to um, not give your energy away. Okay. For some of you guys, you're not giving your energy away. 
you're you're really starting to look at this energy thing. It's like that J line. I told my wife this spiritual shit really works. That's kind of where you guys are. You're like, wow, like um, you're in the beginning stages of it. I know it's been a rough go for you, but happy birthday, um, especially last month and Virgo se and Leo season. Virgos, a lot of you guys obviously um, were in your 12th house, and that's rough, okay? Show me, spirit, what areas of life or give me some tarot to clarify some of these it energies. All right, so it could be with kids. This is Page of Wands. It could be a child, fire sign, um, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be um, opening up uh, it, the, the instability um, that you could have been feeling has something to do with a child, possibly, or a lot of ideas and inf information coming at you. Um, maybe someone in the workplace isn't taking your ideas um, seriously or giving you the just do. We do have a queen of wands, so it's clear that there is some type of um, alluring, captivating um, fire queen. This could be your mom. This could be your sister. This could be a boss. Um, it seems to have something to do with this individual, um, or you can be inspired by this in this individual and want to move forward and kind of take leadership, take uh, um, um, guidance from her. She's influenced in this door to spirit, so she could be directly um, connected to the instability and the change and the things that you've been feeling with the and being that this door to spirit is in an energy of five. She could be doing that. Okay. Show me what else we have spirit for Virgo. We have the devil. Okay. Now we getting down and dirty. So this five is carrying an energy with this devil individual or this devil card. Let's first break down the devil. First major arcana, you've been going through some major changes with this devil. Bondage and materialism and uh, being caught up in appearances or being unaware and staying ignorant to things or feeling hopeless. Um, and, you know, this is the darkness. This is um, the, 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 the bad habits that we have. The, 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 and it also talks about how, you know, the devil is there, but the chains that are on the neck are not tight and you can walk away from being in an energy or being a certain way whenever you want, Virgo. So it appears that um, you have been dealing with some things or these things have been coming toward you as it pertains to uh, possibly children, um, not having enough energy or or being caught up in wanting to pour your energy into something that is not conducive for your growth. Um, and then dealing with some real um, struggling with some temptations, um, some addictions um, and, and things of that nature. I just got these decks everywhere, guys, is because I have, I was doing the combo videos and stuff was everywhere. As you can see in my shot, let me move stuff over. There we go. Two more cards, guys, and then we're out of here. What else do we have? Yes, you also have been working very, very hard. A lot of you guys have been had your eye on the prize. You could feel like that a lot of this crap that you're going through is even pulling you off of your of, of your focus, and you don't like that. You are in the Eight of Pentacles. You are very diligent, hammering away at that coin, and you could feel like this devil. Um, energy. Um, it, it feels like work. I knew I said like a boss or something like that. Show me what else we have for Virgo. I feel like um, some of you guys um, are having some issues with work. Your money is here. You got extra cards that has come out, so I'm going to take them. This is definitely a money story for a lot of you guys. Give me one second. Yes, it's a money story for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are unhappy at work. Um, some of you guys, um, want to go into a new beginning. You want to share the habit that no longer serves you. Um, uh, some of this has something to do with your children. Some of you guys are being, um, headhunted, um, by other companies, possibly, um, you're trying to accomplish a goal, Virgo. Um, the card that came out and revealed itself was the seven of cups. Um, there are several different options, several different ways to do something, um, you're aware of all of your options. You're aware of that. And you know that you are aware that some of these um, 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 options are not viable. 
and you're trying with this devil to not be seduced by either um, false hopes, what you're being promised, um, 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 taking somebody back, although it's not a lot of love cards, but there's definitely a betrayal and an energy of instability and conflict with this door to spirit. So it's been, uh, it, it, you've been, you've gone through some things that have made you look to be a more spiritual um, and not necessarily to role based. Um, but, you know, if the thumbnail caught your eye and you wanted to hear what Marv had to say, um, maybe even going back to church for some of you. And I know that the tarot in the church doesn't mix for a lot of you, but um, you, you may be just kind of venturing off just to hear what um, the readers have to say that you're drawn to, which brought you here. Um, it, it seems like um, maybe you lost somebody. Um, again, I don't see death, but I do see the instability change and things of that nature. Um, a lot of changes that are brought by from conflict. Okay, so that lets me know that. And then the card that actually fell, which I'm going to give you as a bonus, is the star. So there is hope, healing, and optimism here. Um, you are down, but you ain't that down. Okay. So you're just like, I'm going to do this. You are a hard worker. You will do exactly what you have to do um, to get yourself out of this, especially with this eight of pentacles. You are in a brand new mind state. I feel like you got a brand new attitude and you're ready to do the damn thing, um, Virgo. And you are accepting the door to spirit to do that. You are walking through, walking in your new beginnings, um, and walking into your spiritual awakening. And let me say that the majority of the spiritual awakenings are, um, are brought about due to an energy of a five where we're talking about some type of loss or some type of suffering. Now it does not have to be to that degree. It could just be dealing with, I, I, I see this card, Envy, and when I was pre-shuffling for you, I saw that, but this is the one that came out, but that's the one that's that's reflecting back to me. So I'm going to reference it, but I'm not going to talk about it. Some of you guys are dealing with jealous individuals as well, um, and some of you guys are dealing with um, people around you not wanting to see the bigger picture. Um, being stuck in their ways and possibly affecting your life with that sacrecy mentality. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Virgo, it is always a pleasure to read your energy. And I'm going to tell you again, happy birthday. Your majors are the devil and the star. Don't know what they're going to mean to you, but I will see you in your regularly scheduled videos. Bye. Okay, Pisces, you're up. We're going to go ahead and get into your energy check-in. We're going in right now with the energy oracle to find out what type of energy you are, are in. Okay. Every time I try to, I, yeah, <laughs> it popped right up for you. Um, You got some more spiritual stuff going on with you as well. Give me one second. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Wow. Okay, so we do have the card of the world. This is the world just like it is. You are expanding, Pisces, and opening yourself up to more opportunities. Um, the tarot that I'm going to clarify this with is going to give us a little bit more of some of those areas with the five cards. But um, right now, I do want to say that it feels like you are opening up and you're trying to expand your horizons right now, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You are in an energy right now of trying to understand where you've been and move into more of, of, of kind of where you want to go, like a desired outcome and not allowing people, places, and things and circumstances to kind of dictate where you're going to be going. I mean... You are the master of your universe. You get to dictate. And I feel like you're moving more into an energy where you're trying to understand that. Okay, so 9, 10, 11. And this is the world. And that's beautiful because in the energy of 29, first of all, if we break those down individually, twos are obviously about your balanced partnerships and your duality. And then 
Your nine is fruition, bringing your wishes to fruition, attainment, and fulfilling. When you enter in both of those, let's just look at it from a 10 then reset type of situation. So, you know, it is the world that we can look at this as an ace because now you're opening up and expanding your mind, body, soul to new experiences, so forth and so on. Um, and that can go for people, places and things. Now, let's talk about 10. You've completed. You've completed the cycle. You went through the entire tarot cycle. You went through everything that has a long, uh, that has to do with the fool's journey. And now you're back. And now that you understand that last cycle and the things that you have experienced now, only now you could complete that cycle end it, and renew to open yourself up to new possibilities. Okay. Now I do want to do an honorable mention right here for you Pisces with this arc, uh, third chakra. Archangel uh, Shamuel. All right. This particular archangel is about the emotions of your desire and your life force energy. So there is a lot of things that you have wanted to do now when we're looking at um, a 10 again, seven, eight, nine, 10. Um, you are right now. Um, and this has something to do with things in your life that you want to accomplish, of course, but this also has something to do with your desires. Okay. So I am going to just read an excerpt from this one, because I think that this is also very good. Um, life force energy holding a beautiful golden sphere in his hand. Okay. Um, at the light of the solar plexus plexus chakra which is the location pisces of your third chakra in the center of your life force energy the issues here revolve around emotions of desire in your personal energy this card appears upright for you and it indicates an increased enthusiasm an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on the way so right now pisces this is a good time to move around toward the completion, which I've already talked about with that number um, of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy into a more purposeful, um, focused manager, manager, manner, okay? And a more purposeful, focused manner. This angel of power is with you now. So again, um, as I was explaining, it's more so about going into a desired energy so you can get the desired outcome rather than allowing people's crap and their circumstances to kind of lead you where you need to be Pisces. Okay. That's what I am picking up for you. We're going to go in and clarify some of the things that could be completing people, places, and things. What could be beginning? Because remember you're opening yourself up with the help of your third chakra. All right. Archangel Shamuel, and I hope that I am pronouncing that correctly, and show me what else Pisces needs to know, and we have the Queen of Swords. So now you could be either encountering an individual um, like the Queen of Swords that does not play any games, not up for the lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits, and using that sword to yield the truth and cut out shit in your life that no longer needs to be there. You are either encountering that individual or this is the end of the energy that you are walking into. Congratulations for that. Opening yourself up and taking more of a direct approach to your own happiness. Um, as much as you empathize with others and you want to help, you are now putting yourself first. And there is that nine of pentacles. It is about you. Okay, right now, Pisces, and attaining and fulfilling and 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 enjoying the fruits of your labor. If you bought a house, you want to enjoy it. If you bought a car, you want to drive it. If you bought golf clubs, you want to use it. Whatever you have invested your energy in, now is the time to cut out the BS in your life and get into those energies where you will be able to experience the fruit of your labor and we also have the Four of Swords. You're quietly contemplating what the next thing will be. Um, you've been in your head a whole lot thinking about what you should do. You're pondering on the decision too. So you have to make a decision. I don't see love here. I see your pinnacle. I see you're focused on your money. I see you're focused on traveling. I see that um, you're focusing more so as a personal journey right now that maybe you need to take by yourself. Okay. What else do we have? Thank you very much. However, you are open to love. The Empress popped out. 
Um, you want a new brand, new beginning in love. Um, this Empress is pregnant. Um, some of you guys are going to be pondering upon taking it to the next level emotionally with an individual and living the rest of your life out with this person. This feels, I told you it was a decision. Um, you're going to be asking those questions. You're going to be approaching the Empress in your life with truth. If you are, um, you could take this empress the way you want. You can change it into an emperor um, or just a divine counterpart. Don't overthink it if you're watching this, but you definitely, that's your first major arcana out here. So I know that you're connecting with someone special in your life um, from um, uh, that's, that's Venus rude, whether it be uh, Libra or Taurus, but this is um, the major arcana for Taurus. So you either have it in your charts you want it into your life if you're single, but you I think a lot of you guys know who this individual is. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, and here is the commitment. So it looks like um, a lot of what you're going to be doing is uh, leveling up, Pisces. You're a nine of pentacles to a ten of pentacles, and you're going to be bringing the woman or man that you love um, along with you. Um, you want to look at the the situations that's going on in your life from a more broader view. You no longer want to be boxed in, okay? Um, you understand that a lot of what has held you back is because of you. Um, and it could be some deeply rooted things with you um, holding and bearing other people's water for them. But the Queen of Swords lets me know that you have been cutting things out of your life. And when I'm looking at this Five of Swords, I know that there's been conflict, quarreling, and competition in your energy. And you want to just bring in your love and live out the rest of your days in, in, in your home and have that joy and that peace and that family with this individual who are, you are going to be doing this with now you're either leveling up to the empress so you can attract that into you or there's already an empress in your life and that's where you're going to be going with this okay um i love this for you um your major here obviously is the empress and when we uh, actually put that with the world you are um you are opening up to love and beauty and sensuality and all things Taurus energy. And some of you guys may be as a little tip going on a trip together to solidify this bond. And I love it. Pisces, I always get a kick out of reading your energy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here and I will see you in your next video. Bye guys. Hello, Taurus. Let's go ahead and get into your energy check-in. We're now going in with an energy oracle to get an overview of what's going on with you. And we will be clarifying that with five tarot cards. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how are you guys? Um, let's get into it. What do we have for Taurus Spirit? And we have, all right. The Sixth Chakra Archeal Metatron. Um, the Sixth Chakra, guys, is all about your clarity of thoughts, your personal visions and things that you have to do. So right now you're thinking about security. You're thinking about stability. That four carries the energy of it, just what I said, Taurus. So you think about long term crap. Um, you're thinking about, you know, um, how to manifest more of X, Y, and Z into your life. Um, you are in that energy right now. And what is reflecting back at me is you not knowing exactly where to go. Okay. Which choice do I make? Period. What is going to bring me stability? What is going to bring me security? You are at a crossroads right now. So whenever I get a um, Archangel card, I will go and get another card for you guys so you understand. Um, and right now, it seems like a lot of you guys have choices to make. You're undecided about something. You are at a crossroads. You're stuck. Um, and you have to understand that this choice... First, we're going to get into Archangel um, Metatron, okay? Where's the book? 
and then we're going to kind of talk about that. So this card, of course, carries an energy of four. Um, and this is your clarity of thought. Um, this is all about your third eye chakra. That is exactly what this is. Okay. So your clarity of thought, and your personal vision, um, a very powerful archangel. This particular um, archangel brings um, indigo vibrations into your brow chakra or third eye, okay, which is the center devoted to the insight and clear thought. That's what this is. When this card appears, Taurus Collective is going to give you greater clarity, clarity in your personal thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing, okay? So in some ways, this could be a new beginning for you are on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life is and why. And that is what you're undecided about. You are undecided because now you have clarity. And as that clarity improves, you're going to be going one or two places towards collective toward down one one of those roads or the other one okay for some of you guys i'm feeling like you were under one impression and then when that impression was changed due to your new perspective now it's changing what road you're going to be taking and for some of you guys you were so hell bent being fixed earth like myself uh, on that particular outcome now that your perspective has changed, now your mind changes and you're like, oh, okay. Now, for some of you guys, it's hella scary, okay? Again, um, four, it, 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 it's about your structures, your stability, um, and what you manifest. And that eight in your indecision, it carries um, that vibration of mastery and action. You're stuck in indecision, but you know your third eye chakra is, is giving you the answer, but I don't think you want that answer. Your new perspective will bring a new action, a, a new course of action. And if you are stuck, you won't be for long. Let's talk about it. What else do we have for Taurus Collective here? It has something to do with your monies, as my daughter used to call it. There's a bigger picture here. And depending on what your blend of Taurus is and what you're blended with, depending on your bag of blends, your, your bag of herbs, um, you are blocking that. You're blocking the bigger picture um, because you want to possess. And I understand this, Taurus, um, but it's time to not possess. If you let it go freely, if it was your, if it's yours, it will return to you. Um, a lot of you guys, this is a money story. You have to, and your security is in question anyway, because the North Nodes have been handing your ass to you this year. Um, and I know it's been rough and we're going to be in this energy until next July. So we're not done. We are like more than a little bit. I would say we have a, a, a long way to go, but we're not quite, but a little bit what I'm trying to say, if I can speak, okay, Mark, is that we are a little bit past the halfway mark. That's what I was trying to say in our North Node, South Node, um, Taurus, Scorpio. So it's a money story for you. And I'm feeling like this, this indecision, it, it, it feels like it's relationship related, but we're going to keep it about your security with your money. Some of you guys need to let something go. You're blocking the change by, by wanting to possess that pinnacle, by wanting to possess that relationship, by wanting to possess that car. Whatever it is tangibly that you can hold on to, you don't want to let it go. It's time to let it go. Okay. What else do we have? Yep. Um, you could be crossing with Virgo. Um, Capricorn is here the devil. You are not bound to these things. These are habits. Um, they are, uh, for some of you guys, it may be um, in the form of addiction, um, but those chains, do they're not shackling you. They're not on your neck tight. 
You can unchain yourself. You can simply pull those chains right off your neck and get away from whatever this is. Um, and it's time to let something go. And I know it is very, very hard. Um, you wanted to hold on to those things because of your perspective. But in actuality, once you change that perspective again, um, you're going to see that things are going to change. So this is the oppressive um, energy or that secrecy mentality where you feel like you have to hold on to something or you have to go into it. The devil brings those those energies and, and it's time to get rid of them. OK, aha. Uh -huh. Yep. This is about a bond, Taurus. Also. This is about a bond. Um, you love somebody. Somebody loves you, but it could be with all of these terrible habits and wanting to possess that person or that person wanting to possess you and moving into all of these terrible energies. It's time to get back to basics. Um, and this bond is here. You are in love with this person. This person is in love with you. The question is, what choice do I make? Uh, for some of you guys, obviously, you guys may be in separation. You may be not looking at the bigger picture. They may not have been looked at the big picture. It could totally be them as well. And now you are being guided with the sixth chakra here in this Archangel, uh, Arch Archangel Metatron to change the way that you think about this. And as you do, you begin to look at this relationship and love with this person and the bond and connection with this individual very differently. So what would you do? We also have that conflict, quarreling, and competition that you guys have been in. Um, a very competitive energy. Some of you guys, um, who do we have? There's Pisces in this. Pisces had that card um, as well. Or was it Virgo? I think it was Virgo with that conflict, quarreling, and competition and the devil. They have both of these cards. Um, it's time to put that energy up. It's time to let it go. Um, a lot of this was misunderstandings. Um, whatever this was that caused this relationship to break down, it's time to revisit that. Mercury is in pre-shadow right now. It's going to be retrograding um, on September the 9th. You guys are going to have an opportunity to sit down and revisit this. Also, Uranus is retrograde right now, which is a good thing for some of you guys because it, you needed the reset. Okay. What else do we have here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please. What else do we have? Show me what else we have. We have two. You are very, very um, sad over this relationship ending. You are. And maybe you were the one that ended it because... And, and it wasn't even a big deal. It wasn't even that big of a deal and you ended it. It was something that you didn't get. And you ended it. And now your decision has made you sad. Because this is what you want. And maybe with this Ace of Pentacles, you want this brand new commitment. And maybe you thought that based upon what you saw in front of you, that it wasn't happening. But in actuality, um, this is what you want. This is what you want. But there's been a lot of crowding around. Also, I'm looking at a queen. She's looking back at me. Um, we have too many cards here, but um, there is an enthusiasm and, and you're attracted to possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there is an enthusiasm that you have and you want that individual to give you a commitment. Um, this is definitely relationship related, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this is money, but the majority and meat and potatoes of this is this relationship. And then I'm looking at two fives. You, there was a betrayal. You feel betrayed. For some of you guys, maybe this particular um, queen of wands serves as this third person. Um, I don't see third party energy, but I definitely do see the betrayal here. And then she looks back at me. Okay. You could have fire in your chart. You could be loving on a fire sign. Um, or this person represents um, someone that uh, or an energy that came in and wreaked chaos. Um, whatever it is, what you want is this with this person. 
and you have to change the way you think about this because there's something here that needs revisiting, Taurus, okay? Um, it's something here that needs to be revisited. You're going to have a brand new perspective and a brand new look at things, okay? The only major arcana here is the devil, and that lets me know that this needs to be changed. It, it does. This is not the most positive, but it's here because some of you guys need to hear that. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Taurus. You are my family. It is always a pleasure to read your energy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's go ahead and get your energy check in. We're going to be going in with the Energy Oracle and finding out what your focus is. Okay. <laughs> it's been happening. It's been happening. And okay, we have another Archangel card. This is your second chakra, Archangel Ariel. This is your intimacy and creativity. Um, it's funny, funny, funny that this came out. Maybe spirit is trying to talk to me. I am a cancer sun and Saturn has been in our fifth house. Well, as a Libra rising, can, can, um, cancer, as a Libra rising, um, and a cancer sun, Saturn has been in my fifth house. So that's interesting. This, um, archangel is all about intimacy and creativity. And what is looking back at me down here is the thinking man. I'm going to bring him up as well. Um, and this is a man of wisdom and understanding, and this is in the energy of 46, that's 10. So let's talk about six, seven, eight, nine, and let's talk about 10. First and foremost, Cancer, um, your second chakra. Let's go into the um, book meaning for this particular card before I start to tell you what I'm feeling. Obviously, um, this is of this, this energy, um, of the second chakra is vibrating in the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange promoting inspired creativity and a greater comfort with intimacy. When this card is here, cancer, it is urging you to get creative. Oh God. Yes. Um, let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression, new projects, that have been more or that take more of a creative approach. This is also a time, okay, especially with this intimacy where the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely now, Cancer Collective. So you may now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. It's coming. Um, so nurture yourself and be ready to uh, receive that affection, camaraderie, and um, the, the, of the resonant souls around you. All right, so we have that, but we're also going to go into the thinking man, which is the card of 46. There is a man in your life, Cancer, and this person is a person that stays in his head. Um, this is a thoughtful and a reflective man presenting the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or is coming into your life. The person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. Now, it's funny that I just said that someone's coming to your life. And then also what was reflected back at me was the thinking man. This card is telling you to pay attention. For this could lead to great strides in your personal or professional growth. The man also, This man may also be a love interest coming your way. Or perhaps a new male friend. But be look, but be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world to be lit, to be uh, be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, a new technique, a course of study, or a healing practice could change your life. So this is what we have going on for you right now. We're going to find out with the tarot, however, given it's going to give us a little bit more information. So obviously, there's a lot of creativity. Um, but also a lot of emotions that you're going to be going into. We've gotten beaten up pretty bad. So let's find out what the collective energy is telling us. There is a man in your life. And when I'm looking at what's going on, I know there's been emotional blocks, especially with this um, this energy um, of Saturn that's been whooping us um, cancers. Um, um, and I know that depending on your um, rising, it's going to go in different places. But 
Um, if you are a Cancer rising um, or Cancer sun, you do definitely, uh, we, we've gotten beat up. Now, with that being said, um, there is a significant relationship here. I am going to say before I even get any cards out that I believe that this is emotional. But for some of you guys, um, it, it does resonate uh, to me to let you know. It resonates with me in the way where I know there's been a lot of, it's going to be a lot of work opportunities. Um, so for some of you, it could be a split bag before I get the tarot out and then end the video. So I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling new creativity, um, projects, um, healing, things of that nature. However, I am feeling that it's going to be more of the romantic persuasion in this particular re reading. And here we go. The first damn card that just kind of threw its way out is the nine of cups, cares of Pisces and Scorpio is here. So there's a wish. There's a wish for the your heart or a wish for your heart that is that is coming through here, Cancer. This individual wants you. They wish for you. They long for you. And I can tell that with the energy of nine, you guys want each other. Um, but with the energy of 10, you have to go through some cycles. Um, this person had to go through some cycles before they can come back into your life or be the man or woman that you need them to be. Now, if it is a thinking woman for you, then change it and just change the word. It's the exact same energy. So there is a wish to be together. Okay. And um, it's been challenging because that card indicates wishes being fulfilled. Okay, so that means that you've come into the life of an individual. This doesn't sustain love. That just brings that love in. Okay, so um, or it lets us know the energy that the individual is in. Um, so what else do we have for cancer? So that's one. What else? We have strength. It's been a hell of a time. Um, it's been feeling it felt like taming the beast. It's been hard for you. Um, to even sustain at times with this individual. Um, there's been ex 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 uh, circumstances, things that have come in that has blocked this love in some way. Um, I feel that this person is more cerebral that you're dealing with um, and maybe lacks um, in the action department. Um, that does not mean that this individual doesn't love you. Um, it seems to be some type of issue with communication too. Because if, 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 if he's a thinking man, then he's not really saying too much. Okay, there's a lot that tried to come out. Or maybe when he is saying things, he's not speaking in a way that you understand him. Okay. And that just failed. So give me a minute and I'm going to grab it. But I can tell you right now that this person wants a commitment. Um, and so do you. Give me a second. And commitment was what it was. So it looks like you guys are at a crossroads right now. They're thinking and they have wisdom. And their strength is in the in, in what they think. They see you, they visualize you, and they manifest this relationship. But it's not happening, Cancer, the way that you understand. Um, and that probably is an issue, but it's going to happen. It's coming. This individual has not been big on taking action. Um, and I find that now they have a lot of wisdom and you may not trust their way. But spirit is telling you in this particular reading that what they have to say is very helpful. And they're coming in and making an offer. Um, they're making an offer, Cancer. They're coming in to offer you that commitment. And when they do this, you're going to be surprised by it because they are very cerebral in nature. They don't speak. You probably know how they feel, but this you're not going to be expecting because you didn't see it like this. This is the issue. You saw it one way and you expected that you were going to get it that way, but that's not how you're going to get it. Okay. So they're coming in with an offer of commitment for you. 
Um, and I also feel like a change of location and moving in with them, or you guys are going to be doing something together. But there is some things, and why I say you're not going to be expecting this is because they've been holding it back. The, there are some things that they've been cooking up behind closed doors with this moon card. They have not let you know. They don't shine in the sun. They shine in the moonlight. They pride themselves into telling, keeping their wisdom and, and what they took close to them. They can see it. They can manifest it. But that's not something that they want to speak on. They operate better like that for whatever their reason is. Your cardinal water. So when you feel something, you blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about it. This person is not that way. Um, you could be connecting, obviously, with another Cancer or Pisces because this is their major arcana. This individual prefers to do things behind the scenes and not let you know until they deem you need to know. Some Scorpio shit. Excuse my language. It's like, you don't got to know. Tell you when it's time. And you're like, I'm sorry. What? Um... I'm also seeing here that they haven't been very flexible. Um, they've been very rigid or um, what's looking back at me is a two of pentacles. Um, they want to get back to being flexible and having fun with you and incorporating you in and integrating you in the way you need to be. They haven't been available. Um, it looks like they've been dealing with other things. I talked about cycles and things of that nature. So when I'm looking at this, I'm telling you that you you have some things coming in. Both cards have told you that you have some things coming in. There are no major arcana. Um, so this is happening. That I am interpreting that as this is happening as it should. You don't need major events. All of those major events has already happened. That's the reason why you guys are here. The storm is over. Um, the shock will come to you, but... The crap that goes along with this is over with. It's done. Like now all we're doing is focusing on me telling you what I've been doing in the background. And I know that I've looked like I've been up and down in emotions and I probably have, but I've been dealing with the ebbs and flows of what's been going on with me. This is what they're telling you in third person. Um, and, uh, you know, now this is my this is my proposal. Whatever that proposal is, cancer, whatever, whatever level you guys are at, that's what they're going to say to you. Um, and there also is going to be a speech, I feel, because these thinking, th this person is going to come in with wisdom. Um, they're going to say, let you know you were my wish. You bring me the fulfillment that I need. Nines is also, especially that nine of cups talks about a lot of good intimacy as well. We have a very good connection where this, where that. Um, I don't necessarily feel like you guys have anything else to prove in love. Love is there. Um, I believe that it was a wish for you to still be by their side. You have been strong. You have stood strong for me. You've been my rock. I have to, I can't lose you now. Like you have, and I feel like you have been a person that has been instrumental to this individual cancer and they're, they have been cooking up some things in the background on how to keep you and lock you down and finally give you what you deserve. Wow. Well, you guys let me know if that resonates and if it comes to fruition. You got some strong cards. I'm lying. I said no major arcana and I'm looking at the strength. Hello. Hello, Marv. And the moon. What is wrong with me? <laughs> you got two. Major Arcanas are the moon and strength. This is what you need to know. And this has been your energy check-in. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, there we go. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Cancer. It is always a pleasure. Um, you are my fellow tribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get into your energy check-in. We are going in right now with the energy oracle. And we're going to be getting the energy that you may be encount okay. encountering right now. I'm going to put that back in. I wasn't ready for it. Um, and then we're going to be going ahead and clarifying it with five to row. Wow. So you have... Two cards. <clears throat> you are in the energy right now of walking away. This is the card of 27. 
And this energy obviously is walking away from things. People, places, and things, Capricorn, that no longer serve you. You are letting go and moving on. Wow. And then interestingly enough, you also got this card that came up, Action. This is in the card of uh, one and seven, which is eight, energize and effort, willingness to work action. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first and foremost, this is a very powerful energy right now. You're in an energy, um, you're at a time in your life where everything must go, okay? You're purging what no longer serves you. You are moving out of of anything that's going to make you feel guilty, Um and an energy of nine, you're all about attainment and fulfilling your own destiny and doing things that make you happy, Capricorn. Period, point blank. There is nothing else to talk about. You're definitely walking away from something. Um, I can attest to this. There's been a lot of changes with my Capricorn moon and um, a lot of things are falling away to the wayside. Things that I cared about, I don't even care about anymore. That Aquarius full moon happened and I'm like, I'm done. Now, you have the ability, Capricorn, um, to walk away from things that no longer serve you. Um, and that's Cardinal Earth. Quick, too. You'll be like, nope, I'm not doing it. But I find that because it's coming up for you right now that something um, has been in your energy that's been plaguing you walking away. Um, but now it's time to put an energizing effort to that uh, intention of walking away um, and the willingness to do the work and do what you have to do to get rid of um, those unwanted uh, thoughts, feelings, actions, and so forth um, um, from the past. Now, this is the energy of eight. Um, and eight, obviously, is about mastery and action. That's what this the energy that that eight sits in. So let's go ahead and find out which is really interesting here. So you are definitely trying to do your single thing. Um, you're trying to go solo. If you're leaving a job, if you're leaving a person, if you're leaving your home, um, you're leaving, period. You're leaving. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What do we have for Capricorn? Show me spirit, and that popped over, and we do have brand new exciting beginnings. That was the Ace of Wands. It actually turned in reverse in the deck, like not reverse. This is reverse. It actually turned that way, um, and so you could be connecting, obviously, with fire energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are turning around and you're smiling at what you're what you're leaving to. You're like, you're not upset about this. Um, it's time to do it. You've overstayed your welcome. You you've done it for too, way too long. You're like, nope, I'm done with this. Like you're completely done, but you're moving into a brand new, excited beginning, and you're happy about the action that is taking place in your life right now. Okay, you're happy about that. Ah. The Knight of Swords was actually in reverse. I don't read reversals. Well, we're going to leave them this way. Knight of Swords typically talks about, you know, being brash and coming through with this energy. Um, uh, obviously, feeling like there is, well, you come off to individual like you may have a chip on your shoulder. Um, you were once angry about that. So a knight of swords upright, um, obviously is talking about you being very authoritative and direct and incisive and da, da, da. Um, and when it's in reverse, obviously it's still there. Um, but it is a little less like, uh, the energy of it in reverse is just stating that right now, um, you are being the master of logic and reason. Um, you have an intellect, you you are clear, you are direct, and you're always about your, your authority. You're operating in true Capricorn nature. Um, other people um, see you as coming off as tactless and rude, um, overbearing, cutting, opinionated, and unfeeling. But, in a, but what you want to do um, is um, a, be what Capricorn is, and that is bring it, make an order out of chaos. And um, balance is always needed. Obviously, you don't want to be blunt. You want to be direct. You don't want to be overbearing. You want to be authoritative. You don't want to be cutting. You want to be incisive. You know, you penetrate, but you don't want to lack sensitivity when you do it. 
So there is something that you uh, zero Fs is given about uh, when it comes down to a, a situation. And you are moving through this situation as a knight of swords, but in reverse, so not as cutting, okay? You're trying to balance that out right now. Show me spirit for Capricorn. Um, and there you are standing in your emperor energy. So this could be an individual that's coming in. There's a fire person here. Um, maybe you're getting a promotion. You're, I mean, emperors rules, the emperor rules empires. This is what you're on. You're like, look, it is what it is. This is what I'm doing. I'm not trying to hear it. Um, you are walking away from things that no longer serve you and you're moving, you're controlling your life too. You're starting to not be bothered with things that have wasted your time in the past. You could have recently went through something. This does feel like we're recovery. Hmm. We're recovering from some things that went on Capricorn. But you're excited about the, the beginnings here, though. Show me spirit. What, what else do we have? Show me spirit. Spirit for Capricorn. Thank you and thank you. Okay, so we have our two. This has been a very damn popular card today. You have your eye on the prize. Uh, Virgo had this card in their energy. You could be crossing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Definitely, definitely moving in an energy where you are hammering away at that coin. Hammering. It's the only thing you care about right now. Painstakingly rebuilding something that you feel like you lost. You are relentless right now in your pursuits, as you should be. Nothing is going to block you, you, your focus because you feel that you have been not done right. Your justice is coming. If, you, if something has been taken away from you, you've been misunderstood, beat down, battered, bruised, whatever this is, you are going to get justice and then you're going to walk away. You're like, I got y'all. This could include a group of individuals. What's staring back at me is the five of swords. Conflict, quarreling, and competition. They tried it, but they couldn't succeed. Justice is by your side. If they're trying to tear you down, it's not going to work. You're coming through like a boss. Where you once came off like a knight of swords, now you're coming and stepping into your emperor. There's somebody that got your back too. If this is at work, there's someone here that has your back, that knows you're capable and is going to put you in the right situation. Somebody is definitely here. Justice is here. Karmic justice is here. Everybody that tried it will not be able to succeed. No weapon, um, um, no weapon against you shall prosper. This is what I'm feeling. This is a redemption story, Capricorn. This feels very personal. This feels very personal. You overstayed your welcome, and it's definitely time that you get your just due. Action. The willingness to put the work in. You suffered. You did what you were supposed to do. This is a money story for you. This is a money, power, respect type of situation. And it feels like it's job related. You're, you're leaving a job. You're done. You've had it. Somebody got your back. Some of you guys are going to be breaking out into your own businesses. You're going to be doing shit your way. You don't have to. You don't owe anybody an explanation as uh, the way you're going to make your money. The way you're going to be known, the mark that you leave on the world. That's where people get so frustrated with Capricorn energy. And it's interesting to me because they want your opinion to matter when you're doing things in your life and it doesn't. Oh, well, I don't like this. My favorite line at being the Capricorn moon is so. Like, so what? It's annoying. I don't mean to um, make it come off because cross watchers will probably watch and say that that's that arrogance of the knight of swords. But if you are a Capricorn, this is your message. And yes, the right blend, um, is beautiful and the wrong blend, just like with any Zodiac sign can be, you know, um, a lot to deal with, but at a very minimum, I don't care what Zodiac sign you are. I don't have the right to knock on your door. 
and tell you I don't like your drapes and then expect you to do something about it. And that is what you're dealing with, Cap Collective. It's like all of these people, it's like that J-line, sensitive thugs, y'all need hugs. It's just like, why are you so upset? This feels like karma. It feels like redemption. It feels, um, it, it's when I say karma, karmic justice, but somebody always has something to say. Conflict, quarreling, and competition. For what? You're competing with me. All I did was show up to the party and you turned it into a game. You are winning this game. You have the card, Cap. You got it. Okay? Wow. And now you're walking away and you're walking away with very strategic action. Plot those outcomes. This feels like work, um, but they, they, they're they not going to be able but to look you in your face and respect you after you pull this move off. Like, share and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Your majors are justice and the emperor. You can't get no better than that. That's that's like fine wine right there, honeys. Okay. You can't get no better than this. Capricorn, whatever this is, let me know. I would love to know exactly what this situation is. Um, because this one, this one is an epic comeback story. This is epic. Like they thought they could just dump on you. This feels very personal. Like I'm speaking to a chosen few of you because it it is not broad enough. I know that there are other things, but that's all the time that we had. Okay, I will see you in your next one, Capricorn. As my family, you know, it is always a pleasure to read our energy and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Hello, Scorpio, and let's go ahead and get into your energy check-in. We're going to be going in with the energy oracle to find out where you may be experiencing um, your energy at this time as we check in with you. Um, and then we will be clarifying that energy with five to one cards. All right, spirit, what do we have for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Oh, okay. Oh, I think you have three. Jesus. All right. So the first one is Envy, the card of 20. Right now, Scorpio. You are unfortunately the subject of people's envy. Um, you are in an energy of lack and, and, and dissatisfaction. Um, you're not happy with something. People look at you as having everything and you look at yourself as not having enough. Um, there, That's one story. Wow. Then on the other hand, we have blossom and blossom in abundance where you are increasing your wealth and value. That could be the reason why individuals are looking at you um, as thinking that you have more than you do. It may be um, your wealth, but it may be tied up into investments or and it's not like you. When I say wealthy, you may be looking at everybody like I have all of these things to pay. I have this, that, that, and the third. But somebody is clocking your dollars and keeping up with what you have, which is probably causing um, some things in your life right now. And then what also is staring back at me is attachment, um, perceived need, and the choice to let go. You got a mixed bag and they all came out. So first and foremost, um, your groups, your growth as it pertains to groups and growth in your life, um, uh, creativity, that is, that's increasing. Like you are full of ideas right now. You are increasing. Um, you joining your groups, your growth, uh, your creativity is on an all time high. You are connecting with individuals and things of that nature. However, it could be someone that's around you right now that you are partnering with, um, that in that energy of two, Maybe you're unhappy with things not balancing out in your life or the, du the duality um, to look at both sides of a scale or be in an energy where you could do this over there and then be this over here is off or part or, or possibly um, your partnerships are out of alignment. Um, someone is definitely looking at you and feeling like you have more than what you have. I want to advise you right now. That someone is definitely not happy with you. It could be, though, that you are unhappy with your surroundings. 
Although on one hand, you may be experiencing something. On the other hand, you may not see what everyone is seeing and why they're making a big deal about all of these things that you have to do. Um, but watch what you say and watch who you share things with because someone you're, you're increasing in popularity on one hand, but then there's someone um, or something. There are people, places or things um, that are making you um, draw this unwanted attention to yourself that you may not want. Let's figure out what this is about. All right. So Queen of Cups. You appear that you are happy. If some of you guys have exes, they're looking at you and they're angry at the way that you're moving. Um, there's something with a love situation here that is off. Um, someone has taken their energy back. Someone has moved their energy back or you decided to do that to a person. And now there's no love being given. Um, this could this individual could be you as well, but it it, it looks like you're con connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Although there is a wish to put things back on um, the e uh, even keel, there is a wish for you to um, get back to a good state with this individual. Um, there is a wish and they are your wish fulfilled or you are theirs. There is a, a amazing sensual and intimacy connection here, but there are some things that have went by the wayside. There could be an attachment to one another. Um, this person could look at you as an individual who is fine. Um, but in actuality, it looks like you're not fine. You're dissatisfied, um, and you want to make you want to say something to this individual. Um, maybe you're envious of something that they're doing, or you're just dissatisfied with your situation. Maybe they are the one that has a blossom in abundance, and maybe you're attached to them, and you guys have broken up, or maybe it is the other way around. But it is definitely gearing up and shaping up here to be a love story. So um, you have something that you want to say. Okay, um, you want to give that cup, but do you see where your queen of cups is looking? He or she is looking down at a cup and they only want to focus on their own energy and their own feelings right now. Queen of cups typically only do does that when she feels that the love hasn't been reciprocated and she's being screwed over in some kind of way. So this is a love story. This is this is of the love nature. You want to move forward and bring that romance back. And you want to go back to being nice and, and, and romantic. But, ah, you feel left out in the cold. That is the reason why you're dissatisfied. Which is going to make me go into that envy card. This is the reason why you're dissatisfied. Let's talk about that envy card. The card of 20. So, you want the partnership with this individual. You want partnership. That's what you want. You want to be partnered up. You want this individual back. The card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coin and pearls in another. She stands in the silver room looking out on a golden city. Okay. A golden city horizon. She has a life of value already. But she ignores that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desire is only her desire for more only causes a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction. And that energy shown that and, and that energy shows here in her dress. Okay. This card is telling you to let go of jealousy and acknowledge that you have the blessings already in your life. Now is the time for you to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more to them, not you. You're, do you understand that? Notice all you have and thank the universe for it. If this card is near appreciation, which actually appreciation did pop up, but I did not take it attachment came up so 
you need to let go of these things that you perceive are bringing you happiness, Scorpio. But anyway, now it is time. Um, it, it, the This message is doubtly important. It wasn't near. It was actually near the attachment card. Now it's time to move from a consciousness of lack to one of more value. With this sh uh, shift, changes will occur. So you are blossoming mean abundance in other areas of your life. But I feel like um, right now um, you are going back and forth. So what this means for me is, is that that envy card is about what you perceive this other person having and being happier without you. Um, and that's not the truth. Um, so I feel like on your in your personal areas of your life, you feel um, like, you know, your groups, your friendships and things of that nature, you're fine. But you lack, you lack the love that was taken away from you um, by this individual. Um, and it could be, um, and that's that's the reason why you're, you're feeling left out on a cold. That's why. You feel like this individual abandoned you. And because of that, love don't live here anymore. But love actually does live there and love never stops. You just did that to be vindictive possibly and to show them that you didn't need them because you would rather... Of course, pretend that you didn't need them other than letting them know and telling the truth, right? Of course. And that is exactly what you did. You have turned your emotions off. And now, um, because you feel that that is what they have done to you, so you are doing it to them. Um, very, very typical. Um, but in actuality, this is also the love that you end up craving, um, and you are trying to be strong and it is driving you nuts and you are losing sleep at night over it. The best thing that I can tell you is that you need to speak your truth in this situation. You do not have any major arcanas at all, um, but you need to come out of this situation, okay? Um, you are struggling right now. Um, this is the perceived need and the choice to let go. You have an attachment to this individual um, and you struggle. It's been change and instability and conflict in this, in this, um, in, in this, in this relationship or dealing with this individual. Um, you haven't necessarily been happy, but you don't want to let go of it either. You want that love. You feel thrown off without it, but you're not going to let them know anything because you feel like they did it to you. So you can do it back to them. Um, Hopefully this information or this changes, but there is definitely a need for to a, a longing for another and not wanting to be honest about how you feel because of what you think the other person may be doing. So um, that is where we're going to end it. And that's the energy check in for you, Scorpio. Um, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your energy check-in. Right now, we're going in with your or energy oracle to find out what area may be in your energy right now. Uh-oh, and we have broken heart, okay? Um, this is the card of nine, all right? Let's go ahead. Uh-oh, so it obviously um, is um, a broken heart for you. Uh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I definitely apologize for that. It is in the energy of nine. Nine does carry an energy right now. Um, hold on. Of attainment and fulfillment. Um, but this is about your grief and loss. I do apologize for your broken heart. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with this. Um, when we talk about nines, we're talking about fruition and attainment and fulfillment. So, it almost feels like some of this was meant to happen. I do apologize if that's not what you wanted to hear. Um, but some of this um, heartbreak was bound to happen and was destined to happen um, to move you um, out, move that individual uh, out of your energy and move the person that is in the energy uh, that's meant for you. Also staring back at me is Archangel um, um, Archangel Uriel, which is the seventh chakra. Um, I'm going to read an excerpt from this because it is here staring back at me. Um, and this particular um, is your spirit connectedness, um, spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. So 
Archangel Uriel. It's called the Fire God. Um, and wears a brilliant, okay, crown vibrating with passionate connection to divine Gemini. She brings a great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra at the top of your head. This card indicates a free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beginnings of, I'm sorry, uh, beings of the spirit world. It can also be a great time right now for you, uh, Gemini collective, um, from your, um, of intuition, um, for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. It's time to connect. Okay. Um, and you are getting some really powerful uh, messages with regards to this. It does feel like um, you, this was supposed to happen. And I'm also getting a resistance to it because every time it was going to happen, you fought for it not to happen. Um, of course, but now you are heartbroken right now. Let's go ahead and get some tarot to help us out. I'm looking and staring at the card. Show me what we need to see. So the tower came crashing down. Um, and yes, you did try to make this right. The tower came crashing down. The tower is a sweeping emotion. Um, it happens very, very uh, sweeping action. And um, it brings upon an emotion of uncomfortableness. And Gemini, this was supposed to happen. You, you can get ahead of a tower, but the tower needs to happen. That means that this particular person, place, or thing, or whatever it has caused you heartbreak, um, it was supposed to happen because it was not built upon a firm foundation. This means that you definitely did reach out to this individual, possibly, and try to make things right. Um, and you were enthusiastic, possibly, about this situation, and it came crashing down anyway. Some of you guys have children. Um there was a disappointment, okay? There was a disappointment. Um, there is a queen of wands who got this. Virgo got this. Um, a mother and child for some of you guys. Um, uh, the, the child and the mother of the same suit. I don't know whether this is a divorce for some of you guys. It's feeling like a child either lies in the balance or that represented the enthusiasm of the message that you wanted to convey either way. Fire signs are here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, someone um, is alluring, very confident. I don't know whether that represents the person you love or your, or this is an energy within yourself. Um, maybe this individual wanted something different than what you were offering. And maybe there was a pace in that they wanted it when they wanted it. And you didn't give it to them fast enough because a knight of pentacles does take his or her time. Um, there was a reason why this time took place. Um, and there, it came crashing down because it looks like you guys were not on the same page. Somebody was on the queen's page. Um, and someone was on the Knights page. Um, and those are on two totally different um, playing fields. And then we have another page, which is a page of cups. This is the apology. I feel like this is what you want to do. I'm telling you that if you are in this energy, please allow this heartbreak to happen. This could be the severing of a relationship that yields two children. One fire sign child, one um, water sign child. Um Maybe this was a relationship where um, the other party wanted to bring the divorce. You wanted to work on things slowly in this Knight of Pentacles energy. They wanted to be done with it because they were unhappy. And two children lie at the balance. Maybe this represents um, the messages that you guys have for one another. The queen um, energy um, wants it to be done, is excited about the future and enthusiastic about, you know, doing this as seamless as possible, but yet and still the Knight of Pentacles wants to bring an apology. Let's work on this. Why does it have to be over? Okay. Um, and then it, what's looking back at me is, um, the Six of Pentacles, um, the reciprocity card. Um, so it seems to me that, um, you and this other person were not balanced again. 
It wasn't a balanced situation, Gemini. It needed to take place, okay? Now, you don't have any other um, um, cards that uh, represent major um, um, arcana but this tower in the, this tower card. So the tower didn't bring the heartbreak, but um, the actions that has taken place because of the tower is probably what's causing that heartbreak because it was probably sudden. You probably felt like you were trying to work on things as indicated in this energy, trying to keep this relationship together for these children um, or because of the inner child within yourself. Um, and um, it's an unsettling energy. Um, it is um, um, not very received well because um, when it hits, you don't like change. Um, the action of the tower is... Um, um, the action of the tower is not gradual. Change is typically gradual, giving um, individuals time to adapt. Um, but sometimes it is quick and explosive. So in this particular case, this came as a shock. This person in your life took a strategic action um, that su surprised you. Um, I do believe that these cards represent you guys. I am feeling like Gemini, you could be connected. Uh, you could have Earth in your chart and you're connected with someone who is a little bit more impulsive than you are. There we go. And as a result of that, you guys are not on the same page and you straddle the fence a lot of um, have and have nots, will and won't not. And I believe that finally... Um, this individual got tired of maybe promises. It could be in reverse. Take it as it resonates. And as a result, the ta it, j it just blew up. It was over with. Okay. Wow. So there is crown chakra energy here to help you through your heartbreak. Um, but this is grief and loss. And if that's where you guys are, I do apologize for that. Your major again is the tower. Um, and I am wishing you beautiful energy in your tower moment. We all have one. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Gemini, it is always a pleasure. Thank you so much for allowing me to do um, a energy check-in before I give you guys the rest of the um, the regular uh, scheduled videos for the season. Um, I just wanted to catch you guys up. You are my last video, and then we're going to go into our other videos this was a general energy check-in if it resonates great if it doesn't let it skate and i will see you in your regularly scheduled video please make sure you drop below in the description box to go over to the marvelous enlightenment channel gemini and take a look at your virgo season 2022 three card lesson and i'll see you in your next one bye guys